Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am now in the airport and soon I'll be going to Brunei, one of the richest countries in Southeast Asia. Brunei isn't an international destination like for example France, like Spain, but for Chinese people it is quite known because we all know the famous Wuzun. After five months, finally I got to see Flo again. This time we will be traveling in Southeast Asia and we started with Brunei, a really visited country in Southeast Asia. <laughs> so finally I've reached and now you hear the call, call to prayers from this mosque. And Brunei is one of the few absolute monarchies in the world and it's a country that I want to visit for quite a long time. And now we're going to go to the hotel and we will show you Brunei from tomorrow on. Brunei locates in northern Borneo, completely surrounded by Sarawak, Malaysia. It's a tiny country with less than half a million population and a size similar to Shanghai. Brunei is also the second richest country in Southeast Asia, only next to Singapore. It is almost a total welfare state, with zero income tax and free education and health care. The Sultan's government pays its citizens even living expenses, and the base of the country's wealth is its oil industry. 60% of GDP and more than 90% of exports comes from crude oil and natural gas production. The full name of Brunei is Brunei Darussalam, which means a board of peace. And indeed, it's a very peaceful and laid-back country. Brunei has very few bus lines, so to get around easily, we rent a car. See any taxi? So Flo and I will run a car with the interesting plate BBC. I guess because Brunei is a rich country, so almost every family has a car. And since it's part of the Commonwealth, the driver is sitting, sitting to the right. So. So. My first impression of the capital, Bandasari Begawan, is that the city is very car-oriented. Roads are well paved, but I hardly see pedestrians nor people walking on the street. But in Brunei, there are also many wooden stilt houses along the Brunei River. That's a traditional settlement. As early as the 10th century, people started building houses on water. And there are also small schools here, restaurants, yacht clubs, but here it's very, very peaceful. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit scary. It's a bit do just don't drop anything. Look, it's all eaten by ants. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> I just walked into this hole. Ah, okay. okay, okay yeah, we have to be very careful because some wood are broken. There are crocodiles in the river. Good, good. Ah, do you live on the other side? Yes, my friend is the other side. Ah. I live at Gado. Ah. Sometimes I go up here. So some people are still living in those houses. Yes, some, some. Wow. It's not really many. Yeah. Wow. But, wow. Ah, but are they all fishermen or no? Uh, all of them are fishermen because ah. some of them are our parents. Ah. Why, why was it initially built? Like why do you live on floating houses? It's, it's, it's what we call uh, water village. Uh -huh. Water village. Water village. Ah. 
So it's the most traditional type of uh, house. Ah, so there is also bus. That's a bus. <laughs> Have a nice day. All right, you too. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Wow, incredible. Today, many people still live in those um, floating house from noblemen to people who work in different professions. Some houses are broken, so I guess some people have moved out of this area. And there are also fishing nets in the water so during the high tide they put the net inside in the water on the water so that they can fish directly from the house in Kapangayan we met the water taxi driver who gave us a ride before Do you want to drive us around again? Can, yeah, can, can we, we have around another again? round trip? Yes, okay, sure, no problem. Uh -huh. Oh, if you want to see the crocodile anyway, uh -huh. you can see it. I like to see crocodile. Yes, we yeah, want to see the crocodile. Gadung, gadung. Gadung, okay. Okay, we got this very much. <laughs> Brunei's crocodiles are some of the largest in the world. They can grow up to 7 meters. And our boatman took us to the upper stream, where the crocodiles tend to rest. This is the area where there are, used to be a lot of crocodiles, but this time it seems the crocodiles are hiding somewhere. But do they always underwater or oh, most of the time? Uh, on the bank? Oh, there's another oh. one! Yeah. One day the heavy rain until the what you call flood. Ah, uh, all the all the crocodiles gone. Ah, the they farm. got out of the farm. Yes. Yeah, so this is the beginning why Brunei a lot of crocodiles. Oh, I thought it's yeah. wild, but it's they are from the farm. Yeah. Are crocodiles protected animals here? In Brunei so far no, but we are not killing them. But if the uh -huh. but 
the government will take an action about the crocodile. Trying to catch the crocodile. Yeah. They call the when they get catching. Yeah. They call the fire uh, rescue yeah. to to put them in the pump. Sunset. Ah. Now the sunset is just beautiful. It has a purple pink color. The boat was gliding so fast that it felt even like a plane. It flew out of water and then dropped onto water, making a huge sound. The night soon came. It was so dark that our boatman used a torch to light the way. In the darkness, we saw a beam of light from a small fishing boat. Some fishermen are fishing at night. Do they always go fishing at night? Hello. This is shrimps? Oh wow. Ah, yeah, it's all small shrimps. Just put them up on there. But you also sometimes get fish. That one, just the the one the next bright, behind bright, it, bright light. Yeah, with a with a yeah, flickering yeah, light. The bright light is a blue blue house. Yeah. Today Flo and I will plan to drive to the more rural area of Brunei but in the afternoon while we were walking around we saw this huge bazaar What I am wondering is that today is actually Ramadan so they are not allowed to eat during the daytime so why, is, why is food sold now during Ramadan? Why is food sold right now and not later like when it started? So you buy food now, but you eat it after sunset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and also the fish and all the hot stuff, like you would bring it back home yeah, and then yeah. eat it? Okay. And then later, will, will the market be open until, until night? Um, probably. Okay. But you guys will be here as well? Or you will... We are only here until 6. So like, Brunei people, they buy during the day and then yeah. when it's at night, you all, you, you are staying at home and eat with your family. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. That's interesting. So the tradition is to cook and buy food right now and eat it together with the family later. And that's why all the markets are quite empty after 7 p.m. There are many different food on the market. Buns, sandwiches, boxes of nasi lemak, beef rendang, and plenty of colorful drinks and dessert. So Flo and I got some lunch boxes for later of the day. The one is Sam tapioca. This one is uh, green beans. Ah, green beans. Which one do you prefer? I don't know. Yeah. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this traditional like uh, Brunei dessert or Malay dessert? Uh, it's a Malay dessert. A Malay dessert. Thanks. So this is a stand, uh, a dessert stand. There are some donuts, that's some rolls with um, pandan leaves. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it sweet? Sweet? Chicken? Uh -huh. Yeah. Beef. One beef, one chicken. So we got Kopia pisang and karapap ayam. After getting food, we drove south to the rainforest. Along the highway, some forests are burning. The white smoke almost blurred our vision. It's very hard to tell whether it's a forest fire 
or just slash and burn agriculture. And after about two hours drive, we finally reached the deep forest. Flo and I, we have been driving towards the Labi Forest Reserve in the south of Brunei. And along the road, we saw very, very few villages. We only see a few households. So over 80% of Brunei's population is in a capital city, Bandasere, Bagawan. Very few people live in a rural area. And we stopped by a lake, so we decided to to have a look. What have you found?
this national park there are also different kind of wild animals for example this is saltwater crocodile and they are they can be quite dangerous and there is also this this is called a sonda pangolin ah the animal that can roll itself like a ball there are also a lot of birds and a lot a lot of fish they keep jumping out of the water wow look at this color so amazing this is almost the end of our today's trip. We're going to have food very soon. Yeah, Ramadan is now over. And um, this is really one of the most underrated places, I think, in Brunei. Yeah, the nature is just so stunning. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you like it, please give us a thumb up. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. See you next time.